welcome back to my channel it is Brittany so in today's video I have a April favorites video for you guys uh, I don't think I did one for March so it, it might be some rollover from like February and March yeah so I have accumulated a lot of different favorites for you guys if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by please consider subscribing before you leave we do a little bit of everything over here I do a lot of wig reviews and wig content um, fashion hauls, fashion try on hauls, nail content, as well as makeup. We are on the road to 200k and I would like to get there by the end of the year. So, you know, support me on my journey. And shout out to my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for coming back. So, um, we're just gonna hop right into it. If you like my hair, I already have a review on this wig. This is Butter Lace Unit 8. I'll have it on the info card for you. So, definitely watch that video if you like my hair. Um, I'm gonna start off with the apps that I have liked this month they are like weight management apps so i have some personal you know goals and everything that i want to accomplish as far as you know health and weight management and stuff like that so i heard about noom from uh the love hour which is kev on stage and miss kev on stage uh that's their podcast and they've mentioned noom on there several times so i finally was like let's see what noom is about and i saw some ads on facebook from 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 the company as well and so I've been using it since I think April 3rd and I really like it because it's not just like a calorie counting app like I guess like my fitness pal because I used my fitness pal like years ago like five six years ago this one is you do count your calories and your steps and uh, you log your food and stuff like that they also educate you about food and why we do certain things when it comes to food our relationship with food and everything so i have started to see results it's not like crazy like you know 20 pounds down in a month and stuff like that but i really like the noom app and i this is not sponsored i paid for the app myself and i really like it so far so i use the noom app and i use the zero app so the zero app is an intermittent fasting app so you can obviously just track in your head like, okay, I started intermittent fasting at this time and ended it here. But for me, it's, but for me, it is a lot better. That's Coda barking downstairs. Uh, the Zero app is really good because I can physically see it on my phone when I start and stop. And I just really like those two apps together. The Noom app and the Zero app, that is what's working for me. Um, so, I'm not looking for like any advice about like weight management. These apps are doing it for me and I really like them. With a lot of the things I've tried before, they're like certain foods are bad and you can't have them ever, which is not sustainable and practical because you think I'm going without cupcakes or, uh, you know, chicken wings or something like that for the rest of my life. I'm not doing that. So um, it's all about, you know, being in a calorie deficit and you know being in moderation and stuff so um, I do like those apps and I do recommend them because you know I've seen some results already from them Not like okay so I have been watching a lot of food content like cooking and stuff like that videos videos and stuff and I came across uh, this channel last week she's very popular she has like a million subscribers but I just came across her channel her channel is called honeysuckle she is I love her aesthetic like the way she films her her cooking videos the font she uses for her thumbnails everything just looks great it just stands out you know from everybody else's videos and she has like a cool sweet spirit about her um she makes she just breaks it down and makes it more practical like the way that she cooks and everything so definitely check her out she just hit a, a million subscribers so you're probably already subscribed to her channel but i love her channel and everything she does a recent video i watched was like three pasta dishes it was like easy pasta dishes which is a great segue into one of my favorite dishes um it has been since february uh which is the feta pasta that went viral on tiktok and instagram i first tried it in february and i loved it and you basically put grape tomatoes in like a casserole dish in a casserole dish and then you put the feta cheese in the middle and then you drizzle olive oil on it and some other seasonings and then you cook your pasta and you let that cook for like 35 minutes 35 to 40 40 minutes and then you mix it all together and it's amazing so i love that so much but recently i made it more um healthy you can do whatever you want you can add chicken or whatever you want to it 
So I loaded mine up with vegetables more so than pasta. So I still have pasta in mine, but I put less pasta in it. So maybe like a cup, cup and a half, but the rest of it, I have a lot of bell peppers and tomatoes and onions in mine. And uh, it still tastes amazing. And it's a, it's a lot less calories because I'm, you know, leaning more towards, you know, having a whole bunch of, you know, vegetables and stuff in it and less pasta. So highly recommend that. That's like a every week kind of thing for me, maybe multiple times a week because you can make it healthy. I thought it was just really bad for you because of the, the feta cheese and everything. You can make it vegan if you want to as well, but I'm no, I'm no longer vegan. So everything, I can have everything now. So um, it's really, really good. And I just had it the other day and I think I got it to under like 400 calories with the amount of, you know, vegetables and stuff that I put in it. So I love that so, so much. If you don't know, my time has been consumed over the last like three weeks because he and Adrian, we adopted a puppy together and his name is Coda. And I do have two vlogs about, you know, us fostering him first and then adopting him we did a foster to adopt program. So from, from the jump, we wanted to adopt a dog, but the dogs we originally wanted didn't gel with us anyway. So Coda, he he gravitated towards us. So we decided to get to know him through the foster to adopt program. So we fostered him for 10 days and then we adopted him um, after that time period. So I recommend to check out your local rescue or shelter to see if they have a foster to adopt program. You can just foster, like take in some pets for a short amount of time and then just foster them until they get their forever home or you can just foster to adopt like we did. Either way, it's good. I have been, um, you know, I've never had a pet in my life. So I've been doing a lot of research on YouTube with different actual dog trainers. Um, I have loved the How to Train Your Dream Dog channel. I think that is how, I think that's the name of the channel. I think she is great. I'm also in one of her like puppy training Facebook groups. She's really good. You have a new puppy, definitely check her out as well as the McCann training school. I think that's what that's called as well. I'll have the names on the screen, but they're, they have so much content on there and they're professionals. If you are, you know, you have a new puppy, definitely check out those channels. They have so much content. They have, you can, you know, do, online courses with them and everything. Even though I'm watching a lot of that content and I'm in those groups, we're still, you know, going to training classes with Coda starting in June. You got options out there. You don't have to just listen to random people tell you stuff. Go to the professionals to save yourself, you know, some, some heartache and some time. We are crate training him. That is what we do for our household. We like to, we want it to crate train because the professional said that's the way to go and that works out for us um, because we don't want a puppy roaming around our house. We don't want that. So we've been crate training him, which is going pretty well. Um, but at night sometimes when he hears us, you know, still walking around or in the living room, um, he can get a little bit anxious. So I've been playing the dog music that you can find on uh, YouTube and it kind of calms him down and gets him to go to sleep. So I'll leave a link to that video because it's really good. It's like 10 hours of that relaxing dog music. Highly recommend it. Okay. And another thing I love it for us too. Uh, first of all, I love rain. Um, I went on YouTube and found a black screen video because some of those dog videos are bright white. It's distracting when you're trying to go to sleep. Um, but I found this black screen rainstorm video that's like 10 hours long and it sounds so amazing. I already love rain, so it's perfect. Highly recommend it. Even if you don't have a dog, you just want some soothing sounds of rain, uh, for free that's on YouTube. So highly recommend that. Okay. So let's get into like some fashion and makeup and stuff. Um, I don't have any favorite wigs of the month or anything like that. Just check out my first quarter wig favorites if you are interested in my current favorite wigs. I wear a lot of tank tops, as you guys can see. I did. I, I wore a lot of tank tops last summer, and I plan on wearing a lot of tank tops this summer. I get most of my tank tops from Rue 21, and I recently got some tank tops from Amazon that I love. Um, in my OMG Her Hair video, I wore this new colored kind of um, racer back kind of tank top. 
I love the nude color because I feel like it's super sophisticated and I love the fit of it and everything. It's just a nice neutral tank top and it looks sophisticated. I'll have it in my Amazon storefront. And the tank top that I have on right now is from Rue 21. I have it in several colors. Um, I started buying these last summer, but I was kind of like, I want lift even though I have big boobs. That's the thing about having big, big boobs is you want to wear tank tops and all the, you know, halters and stuff, but a lot of bras just aren't good. But I've tried the, I don't, I forgot what it's called. It's like this tape that you lift your boobs up and you don't have to worry about wearing a bra. But I had an accident with that last year and it ripped off some skin on my boobs. So I'm not fooling with that anymore, but I would recommend I have the bra on right now and I feel very lifted and you know, you know, <laughs> I feel very lifted. This is a Victoria's Secret strapless bra. It works for me. Some people don't like Victoria's Secret for whatever reason, but I don't mind it, especially if it works. So this is their, this is their strapless bra and I am a 38 triple D and we are sitting. I think this bra is like $50, maybe not that much, but I need some more because I think they're great. And I'm, I always tell you guys I'm hot up in my office, so I wear tank tops in most of my videos. Even in the winter time, I'm wearing tank tops because I'm inside, so I love that bra. And I've been using this bra probably for the last six months or so. Sandals. I am, I bought so many sandals in the last month and I'm about to do like a, not today, but probably in the next week, I'm gonna do an Instagram reel of some of my favorite sandals under $20. One of my absolute favorites, and one of my absolute favorites, and you guys loved them when I posted them, they are from Walmart. They are the Teva dupes. Teva is a, you know, footwear company that has sandals, and they are more on the 50, all the way up to like $100 sandal company. And I was gonna get some of those, but then this picture went viral on Facebook um one of my Facebook friends posted it and this girl had on the rainbow Tiva dupes from Walmart and she had this cute anklet on and I was like I need those in my life I'll wear them all I'll wear them all the time so I finally found them um at one of my local Walmarts I love them so I posted them and then a lot of you guys started to buy them as well because I linked them on my like to know it and I looked at my analytics it looked like a lot of you guys like them as well so um, even if you can't find them through my like to know it link, definitely go to your local Walmart and pick up the rainbow ones, the cheetah print ones, the black ones. I only have the rainbow ones, but I want the black ones and the cheetah print ones too. I feel like they're fairly comfortable for $10. Um, I'm sure the Tiva ones are going to be more comfortable because they're in the $50 range as so they should be more comfortable. But if you're not like, you don't care about like, that level of comfort they're they're pretty comfortable you don't care about that too much definitely go to definitely go to walmart and pick up the ten dollar dupes because i think they're so so cute i think they're gonna be a perfect sandal for the summer um, okay so again i put these contacts in most of my videos it's the contacts that i've been wearing um i don't wear them all the time but i wore them a lot in the month of april they are the Color CL Siesta Black Contacts in the color Cloud Brown. I feel like they are a natural kind of brownish gray color that doesn't look like, I've already told you guys, some color contacts on people look like this. They look like they're going like this the whole time. Um, I don't feel like they look unnatural. I feel like they look very realistic and flattering on me. So uh, these contacts are about $15, I think and i think they last six months you'll have to check the website but i love them and i'll just i've been wearing these contacts not these specific ones but this brand since 2017. um there's other brands out there but i love color cl the most the siesta brand highly recommend them um i do have a coupon code for you guys even though it's already super affordable at like 15 dollars, i still have a coupon code it'll be linked down below this color looks so good on women of color. It just looks good. It's like a brownish gray color. And I've worn, I've worn them several times over the last month. Okay, so let's get into these lashes that I'm wearing. So, um, they, I mentioned this in one of my vlogs recently. 
I have been, I've had these lashes in my stash since probably July of 2020 and I've just been picking other lashes over them but I got down to like my last bit of lashes and I was like let me just give these a try and I love them. They are so beautiful. They are by the company Be Wispy which is a black owned company and I love the style Nairobi. After I wore them last week a couple times I went back and purchased three more pairs of this particular style and I love them. They are so beautiful. They have the gaps in them that I like. They are so gorgeous. They're wispy. They have the length and volume, but they're not like too thick. They are perfect. Highly recommend these and it's a black owned company. So this particular lip gloss that I'm gonna mention went viral on TikTok and Instagram. I saw some people do some Instagram reels featuring the NYX um, milky gloss collection so I bought four of them but the shade that I wear the most is milk and honey which is like a peach shade that's how it looks in the tube I've been wearing that a lot I tend to wear a lot of matte lipsticks but lately I've just been wearing that gloss with a brown lip liner today I have on Jules Cosmetics chill and it's outlined with Jules Cosmetics lust so I have the brown as the outline and then chill as the um, inside of the lip. And then I topped it with this Milky Gloss from NYX and it looks so pretty. I'll insert a closer picture so you guys can see. And I feel like it's a great lip combination and it's so beautiful. I really love these light glosses because you know, summertime you want something more, you know, fresh and light. So definitely recommend those lip glosses and they're affordable because NYX is a drugstore brand. And lastly, I have to um, talk about my nails. These particular nails here, I have gotten so many compliments on this set of nails, more so than any nails I've had professionally done or I've done myself. So I use the Kiera Sky Nail Kit. Do have nail content on my channel, but I didn't show how I did this set on my channel, but I did do an Instagram reel so if you want to see what I did just head over to my Instagram which is I fancy cupcakes and watch that little quick video so I wanted some abstract nails that were bright and fun for the season and so I use the Kiara Sky kit this is my second time using them and this time I designed my nails first and then I glued them on and they have stayed on a while so I think I did this at the beginning of April like April 6 or something and it's May 2nd as I'm filming this video and they're still on like I've had to pop off when I'm cleaning or scratching my scalp really hard but um I just glued them on and they are still very secure um it's time for me to take them off because I do have some um you know how you have that that space that gets there it's time for me to change them but i've gotten so many compliments from these when i'm like at restaurants and stuff like in the drive-thru the ladies always talk about my nails or if i'm you know at checkout people are always talking about my nails and then i went to get my toes done from a professional place and they were like going crazy over the designs and i'm like i'm not a professional and i killed it you feel me did somebody else do them for you and i was like no she thought it was like a sticker or something but i did them myself so i love doing my own nails i don't do my toes myself but i do my own nails that kiera sky set they have different shapes so i don't have to shape them myself but I love the system but what I will say if you design your nails before you put them on the gel polish is going to be too thick for the UV light to penetrate through the nail and stuff so okay so with the builder gel that comes with it that's how you apply the nails and they recommend that you put the builder gel on and then put the nail on and then put it under the uh, UV lamp and everything and that's how it applies that's how you adhere the nails to your you know your nails and everything and I did that the first time but it didn't look very neat so I wanted to design my nails first and then put them on so I wouldn't recommend doing the builder gel because it won't work because you already have the gel polish on there if you go the route that I went this time but just use some regular nail glue to apply your nails if you want to design them first and it'll be fine because these bad boys are on there still and it's coming up on a month and that's the longest i've worn press on nails so 
very impressed by that. And that, that was my last favorites for, for April um, and the and February and March pretty much. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk to me down below. What are some of your favorites? Do we have any favorites in common? Um, are you going to try any of my favorites? Just talk to me down below. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.